Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys is part two on this Citroen Relay camper van. So the paint shop um, is gonna be delivering the paint today so we can just crack on and get this um, painted completely finished, um, hopefully today, both sides. Depends on the prep. I wanna keep continuing looking at the prep and making sure that that's you know all good. Just keep going over it and over it and over it and over it and just making sure. I know that um, Alan, the owner, you know, if it's little bits and pieces, he ain't gonna be too fast. I know that because he's already told me that. But I personally, I'm gonna try and make it, you know, the absolute best I can. And that is the only way, really, that I am gonna learn and going forward um, and making sure that, you know, my standards are really up there high. I wanna make sure my standards are always gonna be up there and high um, because in that way, uh, those doors will stay open for longer. Um, so, but yeah, it's all part of it. It's a business, you know, it's a business thing. Um, you've got to make sure that you're, you know, you're helping customers and you're helping people and, you know, you're trying to improve all the time. So, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, that's what we were doing today. <clears throat> Both sides, get this finished for him so he can have his camper van back. So I'm sure, I'm sure he told me he's going away in a couple of weeks, so or next week. So I'm sure that he wants it back um, <clears throat> to get it ready when he's off on his travels. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, let's start with this side first because this is a side I uh, put a little bit of primer over yesterday and left it overnight. And I just wanted to come back and have a look to see you know, how it's going. Um, any imperfections or any sort of, you know, thing that I need to rub down. I have noticed a couple of things. I don't know if I want to get this on camera, but there's a slight bits there that he's rubbing down. Some some bits and pieces along there. So this still isn't quite, uh, you know, as good as I want to get it. I want to get it a bit, bit, bit better than this if I can. So I'm going to carry on. Uh, rubbing this down, um, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just want to get it, you know, the best I can for him, really. It's going to take a bit more time, but it's uh, it needs to be done. So I'm going to go over this as well um, and have a look at this side and just rub it down a little bit. The other side, <clears throat> not as much, really, because we haven't got a big area like on that side. We've got, you know, only a couple of small areas like this here. And this here so basically what i want to do here is um <clears throat> i'm going to start this side first we're going to i'm going to set you up on the on the tripod and you can see me i'm going to drop the window bring the glass down pull this rubber away <clears throat> then prep this and uh sand it flat because I've, I've i've um dolphin glazed this last night and this so yeah that's the plan <laughs> rub it down um and then do a little bit of little bit of primer um, over the two areas, and then we're gonna I'm gonna leave this side um, until later. It's quite early at the minute. <sighs> what is the time? Nearly eight o'clock. So if I use the primer on this rub it down and use the primer on this side um then you know it's, it's a good few hours to leave it till later probably like midday 12 one o'clock and then i can you know i'm happy that the, the the primer is is dry enough ready to to receive uh it's um you know first coat of base coat so yeah that's the plan uh i really want to get this handle off to be honest with you just i just think it'll be a much much better job I need to find out. I need to look on YouTube for some videos. So that's what I'll do. Um, I'll find out how to do it. I think it's going to be a case of maybe a screw here or screw there. I don't think you have to take this off. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never done one of these, so I don't really... Yeah, I'm just guessing. Um, <clears throat> but I will find out. There must be a video on YouTube. There must be. There's a, there's a YouTube video for everything <laughs> these days. 
<laughs> so yeah, I'll find a video. We'll get that handle off and then I'll um I'll take it up to about here and blow it into there and then just take it round and then just do both sections, take this rubber completely off and just do these both sections coming down, coming down, and then I'll just come down the whole area here, all this here, and then just take it into that door like that. Do you know what I mean? Um just that's just just all I can do really to make it better. Um it seems a bit excessive to sort of do a lar a larger bit just because of a couple of areas, but I need to like bridge the gap between the two areas. And the only way to do that is to sort of just spray it all, all up and done, you know. This ain't too bad because if I really wanted to, I could tape that off this door and have just this this part done all the way up. So that ain't too bad. It's just this door area. Like, where do I stop it? Where do I take it to, you know? Yeah. Right, anyway, I'll have a workout. I'll have a sort out and see what I can do. Let's um, <clears throat> let's set you up. Let's get this side done first, uh, get it primed, and then it can start drying, ready for later on when the paint turns up. So let's do this. Right, okay guys, so as you can see, I've re-primed uh, it after I've just done a little bit of rubbing down, just wasn't happy with a couple of spots um, and anything that I can make better looking than um, I'm going to really, to be honest with you, I've actually just seen a couple of bits just there, I don't know if that's in the actual um, primer or what that is, but um, yeah, so I've gone over it a little bit and then I'm now going to wait for that to dry give it a, an hour or so and then i'm going to go over the whole primer with some wet and dry sandpaper just to key it up um but i've already keyed up the rest of the, the panel that i'm going to paint and then um yeah we should be ready for painting and um we'll see how it goes but it's looking better it's looking better already because the condition of the, of the actual panel was quite bad I did manage to get the handle off, uh, so that was a case of just taking the inside panel off. Um, I took the rubber off, off the door as well, so I can tape it up 
um, on the edge so that the paint can go in. So I'm not sort of taping up the rubber. I just thought it would be a better finish, to be honest with you. So, yeah, got that done. Um, I just want to cut the tape away a little bit. I've just gone over, over it a little bit there. So I want to cut that around a little bit if I can to uh, to make it a better finish. Um, so, yeah, but a little bit of primer. Looking really, really good. So, again, just want a little bit of wet and dry. I'll leave that for an hour. I'll let it dry off. Again, the same here. It's looking really, really good. You can see I've still continued that line going up the door, which looks really, really good. Um, yeah, so far, so good, guys. I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. So, yeah, I'll leave it for an hour or so because um, it is really hot in here still. So, it's going to dry really quick. And then... Um, I'll uh, tape up the rest of the van, both sides, put all the plastic on, just get it ready for paint now. Um, so, yeah, that's the next stage. So let me just, um, yeah, there's no reason why I can't um, like sheet up now, both sides really. So let's crack on with that. Let's get the van ready for paint and we'll go from there. So, yeah, let's do this. Right, okay guys, so as you just saw there, um, I'm wrapping up, taping up. Um, I've also done some pieces like this where, where there's one at the top and then there's one by the door. And basically, um, there's a little trick that I sort of found out is that with the paint, the base coat is going to finish, I'm going to paint it up to about here. But with the lacquer, I'm going to take it on a little bit further. And what happens with this, you've got to... Think of it as like a little, little bridge. So there's no sort of hard edge taped. So as I'm doing the lacquer, it kind of just sort of feathers in and feathers under and sort of goes to there. So And obviously the hard edge is right down here. So it's, it's not going to sort of, you know, be too much. And then I'll take it off and then uh, put some um, uh, blend, blend uh, 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 spray, some blending uh, paint after the lacquer. Again with the door. There's no hard edge. The hard edge is right back here. So 
yeah that's why i've done this a little trick i'm just this is the first time i've tried to do this little little thing like this so i'm just um you know i'm still sort of getting used to it and getting to see if it's going to work um i've done a little piece up here as well again i'm going to end the paint up here somewhere and then end the lacquer further up so yeah um as it's as it as i'm feathering it it feathers up and it don't give me a hard edge with the lacquer and with the, with the fade out thinners um where is that fade out thing I don't know. blend blend that's it it's a fade out blend paint um and you just yeah you just spray it over the edge where you finish the lacquer um so yeah that's where we are um i have you know gone all over the the, the, the primer both sides um and panel wiped it once i'm gonna panel wipe it again just before we paint but um yeah it's definitely getting there the paint shop has just been um and dropped off and delivered the paint that i need which is this one here and some thinners to um you do like one and one so whatever that is where you add that and and mix it up and then that's your base coat uh, I've already got some um, la a, a clear coat, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I think I've got everything now, and I think we're ready to start giving this um, some colour uh, with some base coat. So I'm going to set myself up, knock up some paint, mix it up. I'll put you on a tripod. Let's go for some paint. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, it's uh, looking really, really good. Yeah, it's laid on really, really nicely. No runs, so that's good. Uh, yeah, three coats. Um, I'll show you the other side. I didn't record much of the other side because I just wanted to crack on. I was jumping from backs and forwards. By the time I set up, jumped backs and forwards, it would have just been, um, yeah, not enough time <laughs> between coats. So, but yeah, you can see, yeah, it's come out really, really good. Again, no runs, which is fantastic. So yeah, there we go. Now that's done, three coats both sides. We can move on to the clear coat. Um, again, probably three coats. So 
Um, give me a, I'm gonna just uh, sort out my gun, have a little clean up, uh, sort out some clear coat, and then we'll start laying it on. So, I'll crack on, let's do this. So guys, there we go. Um, all painted, base coat, three coats of base coat, three coats of lacquer, uh, clear coat lacquer, and the last coat was quite thick. Um, and we'll just see, if we get some orange peel, we're gonna have to go over it and you know have a look at it, but it's not looking that bad. Um, if you look down the side of it, it's not looking like I'm gonna get a lot of orange peel there. It seems to have spread quite well, like not like last time where, it was just too hot and the clear lacquer didn't have time to spread. This this time, it seems like it's really spread out nice. So, yeah, I'm super, super happy with the way this has come out. Um, and then obviously, I've just got to peel up all the tape. I did take off my bridge at the top, you can see there, and I've just flicked up some fade-out thinners, uh, some blend uh, into that bit there. So that's gone up. Um, but again, we can just sort of play around with that. Uh, you know, don't flat it, but just sort of polish it, compound it out and stuff like that. Uh, again, uh, I did the top bit there and sort of faded it in and I pulled it across there and faded that out as well into the door. I know we've got like a little bit of marks on that door and that sort of stuff, but I'm going to touch that up anyway. Um, but it's looking really, really good. A lot, lot better. Um, and I've just got to tape, take off all this tape now. I'd re-tape it all off. Just take all the tape off and then um, leave it to dry. Until the morning, um, I will show you the results in the morning when we come back um, tomorrow. But for now, part two, we're done on this van. Uh, but it's looking, yeah, it's looking a lot, lot better. And I'm sure Alan would be a lot, lot pleased with the way that it's come out um, compared to what it was before. But it was a lot of prep work, rubbing down, sanding back um, and getting it ready for this stage. So... Guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed what I've done and how I'm doing it. There's always going to be other people out there. You should have done this. You should have done that. You should, I do this. I do that. Well, that's fair enough. But <laughs> it just, it, it just everyone's personal preference. And I'm just building my confidence and I'm building, um, you know, my learning skills of doing uh, not just paint work, body work, uh, repair work, the whole process, um, because I really want to push this and, you know, going forward, I want to, um, you know, do really well at it. So there we go. That's enough waffling. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say, positive or negative. I don't care. Just bring it on. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Take care. See you soon.